A Janesville man was sentenced to life in prison today for the 2014 murder of his ex-girlfriend and attempted murder of his best friend. NBC 15's Kate Pavish was at Clayton Courtney's sentencing hearing today and has the details of the judge's decision. Clayton Courtney will be 74 years old before he's ever even eligible for parole. That was the decision Judge James Daly made today here at the Rock County Courthouse. Your spree has resulted in a community being fearful, two families being terrorized, and that has got to be dealt with in the sentence. After walking in all smiles, Courtney appealed to the judge, saying it was his drug and alcohol addiction that made him hurt the two people closest to him last May. I feel so much guilt and shame for what I've done. It was such a selfish act. I committed the ultimate sin. But Judge Daly and the prosecution didn't buy it. Something like this isn't just caused by drugs. It's certainly caused by something deeper within you. This wasn't a, um, a mistake. This was a savage beating. This was a beating in which the defendant took rocks and beat Brittany in the head. Michael Clark was attacked by his then best friend and roommate, Courtney, when he came home after killing Brittany. Courtney threatened Clark's pregnant girlfriend and children and then stabbed Clark multiple times. Clark says he's just lucky to be alive since Brittany didn't get the same outcome, but thinks Courtney should never be free again. I don't think it's even fair for what he did to her. I mean, forget about what happened to us, 45 years for what he did to her. I think he should got life just for that. He says it was clear today Courtney isn't sorry for the damage he's done. When he walked in, he had a smile. When he walked out, he had a big smirk on his face. And... You know, he's not remorseful at all. Brittany Cross's mom wrote a letter for the court saying she could tell Courtney was getting possessive and jealous and warned her daughter that day not to go with him. She wrote how Brittany's death is a loss for everyone. And it's truly sad. None of us get to spend any more time with a very groovy girl that I love with all my heart. Michael says his family is still coping with what Clayton Courtney did to them. He says he's happy now that he won't have to see him around anymore. Reporting in Janesville, Kate Pavish, NBC 15 News.